Yamaki-san from Sigma is a very busy man. He's busy designing full-frame camera, he just joined the L-Mount Alliance, and he has a range of new lenses. Yamaki-san, good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm always good, you know. <laughs> What's the choice in life? Yeah. Um, but uh, this is a very interesting show for Sigma with a lot of announcements and mm -hmm. a lot of announcements, announcements of collaboration. But for me personally, what was really, really interesting is your announce, announcement that you're going to now develop a new full-frame camera. Yes. Where is this coming from? Yes, uh, actually, we started this project three years ago already. We decided to develop the Fobion full-frame sensor. And then we were uh, investigating uh, to develop our own full frame uh, mirrorless system. But at some point, we realized that uh, having a, a partnership would be better for the customers. So we decided to uh, work with the Leica and the Panasonic, and we decided to feature the new phobia of full frame sensor in it. Before we talk about, uh, before talking about this alliance, um, the new camera, actually your current cameras are only APS-C uh, sensor, am I right? Uh, APS-C and also APS-H, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. the two cameras. Two, two cameras. Um, so this is a whole new story for you, mm -hmm. and um, the sensor is already developed or is under development? Uh, it's under the development, so. okay. And of course we are very curious about the video specification of this future camera. Is there anything that you can tell us about it? Sorry, at this uh, time I cannot ca comment uh, about the specification of the new sensor. Okay, so let me try a bit different. Do you think this camera will shoot video? Sorry, again, <laughs> I cannot comment it, yes. Okay, uh, maybe about the time frame, uh, when to expect this camera in the market? This camera will be available uh, next year, 2019. Okay. Um, when we uh, actually when you when you started to develop the camera uh, what type of mount you had in mind because obviously this evolved into something a bit different and uh, now with the alliance with panasonic and leica or was it very clear from the beginning that that's the mount that you want well uh, as i said uh, we at first uh, we were uh, considering to develop our own uh, the mount with a short flange back Currently, we use the existing SA mount lens, which has a long flange back. But we thought that it's time to change to the short flange back new mount system. But as I said, at some point, we changed our plan and we decided to work together with Leica and Panasonic. How is this connection actually started? Because at the end of the day, Leica, Panasonic, and you Everybody's making uh, camera cameras, and everybody are making um, lenses. It's a kind of a competition, but maybe also friendship. Uh, as you know, Leica and Panasonic has been working together for a long time, and uh, likewise, uh, Sigma uh, has been working with Panasonic for a long time for the uh, for regular forces and the micro forces system. Uh, we joined the, the uh, micro. Uh, system from the beginning so we we, are, we know each other for a long time and then uh, at some point uh, Panasonic uh, made a proposal uh, to us to join the, the, this Elmont system. This is of course putting you under not, maybe not personally but as a, as a company under enormous pressure I mean another mount another uh, lens system Actually, also new camera, as you just said. It, you know, how do you prioritize? How do you make it all? It sounds like you have to juggle all the time. Uh, you mean the, there are many new systems? Yeah. Yes, but uh, uh, for now we we have our own system uh, as a, I mean I mean the Elman system. That's why we need to work on uh, the the 
uh, camera lenses for L1 system. Regarding the, the new system from Canon Nikon, uh, we have not uh, looked at, into, at the camera yet, so we have great inter interest in those systems, but uh, we have, we, currently we don't have any plan for it. So once uh, we, actually the Nikon Z7 uh, was released today in Japan, so we will look at, look at those cameras and make a decision. And the EOS R is still not, uh, as you said, not, not yet at least. Not yet, yes. Um, uh, one more point about this alliance, because uh, uh, you're all making lenses and you're all making cameras. Is there, uh, the development will be done uh, jointly with uh, Panasonic and, um, and uh, Leica when it comes to lenses, or each company will develop and spend the money on uh, research by themselves? How, how does it work? So each company its own product uh, separately, independently, and we do not uh, disclose its own roadmap, product roadmap, uh, each other. But we work together uh, to make this Elman system very robust and, and compatible with uh, many wide variety of the, the products from three companies. Interesting. And of course, you also announced a range of new lenses. Uh, just a little bit about them because it's a mixture of prime lenses and zoom lenses. Mm -hmm. So just in short, what, what did you announce there during this show? Okay. So we announced a total of five lenses at this show. And uh, this is uh, the 56 mm f1.4 for the APS-C size and the four thirds size sensor uh, camera. And uh, f-stop at 1.4. And uh, this lens is available for micro pulses and Sony E mount. Very compact, lightweight, but uh, uh, high image quality. And uh, these two lenses are from uh, our art lenses, uh, art, line, art line, and uh, 40 mm f1.4 and the 28 mm f1.4. Both uh, of the lenses has a very high optical performance, especially 40 mm will be the, the I think new standard for the, uh, the high high quality lenses. Maybe I missed it, but which uh, mount uh, this uh, lens will have? Uh, these two uh, lenses are available in Sigma SA mount, Canon EF mount, and Nikon F mount, and Sony E mount. Okay, and then we come to the yes. two big zooms. Yes, uh, these two zoom lenses are from our sports line. The one is 50 to 600, and the other one is 70 to 200. Both two lenses are designed for the professionals or photo enthusiasts. Uh, this lens is a 10x zoom lens, but the uh, optical quality is not poor. Actually, it's uh, superb because it's designed for the professionals, and it covers a really, really wide range of the focal lengths. And 70 to 200, of course, uh, designed for the uh, the photo enthusiasts and professionals. In order to achieve uh, this goal, we use the nine FLD glass and the one SLD glass. FLD is a uh, optical glass, but uh, it has almost exactly the same characteristics as a flow light. So we could minimize the, the longitudinal uh, chromatic aberration and the bilateral chromatic aberration. And those lenses will come in which mount? Yes, uh, these lenses are available in Sigma SA mount and uh, Nikon F mount and Canon EF mount. When you come to design new lenses, especially uh, the line that we see here, uh, is that part of your vision or the demand come, comes from the, from the customers? Actually, I say both. Uh, because we have lots of lots of inquiries and requests from the customers. And then uh, we think about it, and then uh, we choose uh, which lens to uh, develop. So the answer is both. Yamaki san, as always, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Appreciate and thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.